everybody welcome back to some more pokemon ruby and today um we are going to be progressing past mauville city so let's do this um first let's get rock smash from this guy right here so here we go and i don't really think i have anything to teach rock smash to but we'll see hopefully we do we will have a move deleter later in the game so if i hate the move which i probably will uh, I can just get it deleted later on. And actually, we have a lot of Pokemon that can learn it, so... Um, let's just see what we got here. So I'm actually thinking about teaching this to my starter. So let's go ahead and do that. Might be stupid, but... There's only a couple moves I really need on him. Yeah, Rock Smash is really bad. 20 power. But, it's okay. So, I'm just going to get rid of Bide. I never use it. I just had it for a filler move slot, so... We'll fill that with an HM. There we go. Um, first off, let me get this done with... I, forgot, I keep on forgetting to do this. Register my bike. It's just a faster way to get around. So, let's go. So we're going up to Route 111 here, and we face we can see this guy in front of his house, and this is like a just series of battles against these guys just in a row. So get ready for this win straight victor with a Talo. So you know what we do here. We're going to use Rock Tomb. And we're going to miss like we always do. Whatever. Like seriously, when, when do we not miss Rock Tomb? We at least miss it once every couple tries. It's just ridiculous. Whatever. We take it out. Um, Zigzagoon. We'll go out to Pora. And comes Zigzagoon, and let's just use Water Gun. And it will survive and use a Headbutt, so nice. Has an Oran Berry. Um, so one more Water Gun will take it out. So that will be the end of the first guy in this house. First member of this family, at least. And he said we're a lot tougher than he expected. Alright, so he tells everybody that uh, he found a strong trainer and out comes his wife. So, yeah, you're going to have to take down, I think, four four people in a row. So, this lady's got a Roselli on her team. Just go with Mega Drink. Or, ooh, Metal Claw, I'm sorry. And, gosh, Mega Drink got a critical. Are you serious? Um, Metal Claw will do, almost knock it out. And apparently they all have berries, so that's kind of annoying. Um, so yeah, that was a critical hit last time, so it shouldn't do that much this time. Still does a lot, but Metal Claw should knock it out now. Alright, there goes Roselia. And down goes Wind Straight Victoria. And out comes the daughter, and she will be the second to last person you face in this. And she's got a Meryl, so let's go with the Rock Tomb. Now, they do start you off with the same Pokemon every battle, so just make sure you're prepared, I guess. Hopefully, okay, so Defense Curl. I'm just going to go with the Rock Tomb here, because I want to make sure it gets knocked out. And of course we miss. Come on, man. This is ridiculous. We got we to gotta stop missing, man. 80% accuracy. That should be fine. We still knock it out anyways, thankfully, because Aaron's a beast like that. And next up is Shroomish. Um, let's go with Echo. I, go with, I would go with Surskit, but... Uh, he don't have any bug type moves, unfortunately. 
So, let's just use Uproar. I think Echo can take care of it. There we go, critical hit. Echo's been getting a lot of those critical hits, and they've been very nice. So we got Numel up next, and you know how we handle Numels. Pora's the person for that job. Or the Pokemon for that job, what the heck. So stupid. Um, let's just use Water Gun. Can't believe I just called my starter Pokemon a person. Absolutely unbelievable. I apologize greatly. However, we defeat Winstraight VV, and she'll say this stinks, and start crying for Grandma, and we're going to get smacked apparently, so that's nice. And here is Winstraight Vicky, and she's got a Metatite. No big deal, let's use a Metal Claw. Oh, it is a big deal, high jump kick. Well, I think that's our first... Like, knockout of this walkthrough, so that sucks. I didn't think it actually had a fighting type move. It's literally never used that on me anytime I've ever played this game. And yes, I do realize the high jump kick will do a lot of damage to Echo, but we should be fine. And I cannot stand meta types. They just detect over and over. Like, look at this. Are you serious right now? Oh my gosh, it's just such a waste of time. Like, nobody wants to sit through the text, man. Nobody. And it's probably going to hit me with high jump kick. No, it's going to use meditate. Not a very smart move there. Um, so yeah. Down will go meditate because we decided to use meditate instead of high jump kick. Why? I have no idea. So, we defeated the whole family. So I guess she calmed down after we beat the grandma there. And... He'll say, that guy will say that his son uh, took the Pokemon League challenge, so maybe we'll see him down the line. So yeah, they're just talking about their son a lot, and I think if you talk to this lady, get the Macho Brace. So after you beat them, make sure to pick this up if you want it. Pretty good item, nothing crazy, but it's alright. Now, I'll see you guys in a second while I go heal up. Alright guys, so I just healed up and I'm ready to go um, smash this rock over here and advance past Mauville City. So we're finally starting to get a little bit farther in this game. And we got some trainers to take on of course. Need all the training we can get right now, so we got a shroomish here. Nothing Aaron can handle. So one more should do it. Mega Drain. And yeah, as you can see, these Pokemon are starting to get a little stronger moves now. Usually it's the usually you would see crap like absorb and all that. So breath of fresh air seeing some new moves. And a Quain will uh go to level twenty one there. So that's nice. And next up is Meryl. So we'll go to Echo. So we're just going to use Uproar, of course. That's what Echo does. And roll out. So there we go. So down goes Meryl. And we defeat Picnicker Irene. So let's keep on going here. And we'll face this guy. So Camper Travis here will have a Sand True. Hopefully it don't have any ground type moves because I am four times weak to that. I don't think it does. And Metal Claw gets a critical hit. Very nice. Oh, there's a ground move, Sand Attack. A very annoying one, too. So, hopefully this headbutt hits. There we go. Didn't give us any trouble. It'll give us a little bit of experience. And that'll be in the end of that guy. So, there we go. Um, let's just go over here. 
I'm pretty sure this guy has a Numel. So let's switch Aeron for a Pora here. Let's take on this guy. So he won't cry if he loses. Well, good thing you're prepared for losing. Because, oh, he has a Zigzagoon coming out. Okay. Well, that's not a big deal. Let's use our new move, Rock Smash. Let's see how much it does, even super effective. Look at that. A super effective fighting type move only does half to a level 18 Zigzagoon. That just goes to show how weak this move is. So, yeah. <laughs> Only good thing about it, I guess, is that it can lower defense. But that's about it. Oh, he has a nose leaf. Okay. Um, we're gonna go to Echo here. Now, if Surska had a bug type move, it'd be four times effective against his nose leaf, and give us a lot of experience, and it'd be awesome. But no bug type moves. We don't have leech life, so. Yeah, we, we're not really a true bug type because we don't have any bug type moves. But uproar will knock out the Nuzleaf. I, I could have swore this guy had a Numel. I guess not. Maybe it's a different trainer I'm thinking of. But I don't know. Oh, it might be this lady up here that has a Numel. I know one of the two does. I don't have every trainer in this game memorized, unfortunately. And Picknicker Carol has a Taylo. All right, let's hit it with a water gun. And we don't, unfortunately, we don't get the one hit KO. So, let's hit it with a rock smash, knock it out. And next up is Lombre. Um, we'll go over to Echo. And yeah, so this is her last Pokemon. So we'll take out this Lombre here. I guess they did the whole one trainer has the Ruby exclusive and Nuzleaf and one has the Sapphire exclusive and Lombre. So whatever. Um, Lombre will be taken out by Echo. And a Queen gets some more experience. Um, let's just go up here, face this hiker, and he might, he may have a Machop on his team, maybe not, I'm not sure, but I know he has at least one Geodude. Ooh, looks like he's got a lot of Geodudes for us. Um, go for Water Gun, of course. We know how to take care of Geodudes, this is crap we were facing in the first gym, so, yeah, pretty easy here. Like, this is literally on par with, like, Roxanne's Geodudes. So, this hiker is just, just stuck in the past. Obviously, these Geodudes are not going to thrive very much. And we level up to level 22. Nice. And, I don't understand why he has to have so many. Like, you know you're going to get walked out, knocked out in one water move. It's just... It's just so unnecessary to have this many. Four Geodudes. My guy. <laughs> wow. Alright. So let's knock out the fourth Geodude. And after that hour long battle, we can finally move on with our lives. Stupid hiker Trent. And what is this? A Quain is evolving. Yes, level 22. This piece of crap Surskit will evolve into something a little bit better. So, bye Surskit, hello Masquerade. And look at that. There we go. So there we are, Masquerade, level 22. Does not learn any moves upon evolution. But, we can look at him real quick. Here he is down here. I've actually never used one of these. Um... We'll keep the experience share on him for right now, because he's still a little level. So, Timid Nature, of course. Intimidate. Yes, uh, it does gain the Intimidate ability, which is very nice. Uh, very good ability. That's one thing I can say about this Pokemon. Um, pretty good special attack. Good special defense. 
in good speed. And its attack and defense aren't all that bad. Its HP is okay as well. So even though you might think of this Pokemon as garbage, it's actually looking pretty good stat-wise. I mean, you compare it with um, my Aeron and my Loudrid, Marsh Stomp. It's really, right now, it's really up to par with everything else. So with this hiker up here, I think we're good just using uh, a queen against these Geodudes up here. It might, he might have him a chop, I don't know. Now, if you do not notice, Masquerine, even though it has rain in its name, is not part water type. It's bug flying, it lost its water typing upon evolution. Why, I have no idea, but it just does. So, a queen with his new Intimidate ability, that is awesome. So, we'll hit Numa with a bubble here. And we might take it out in one hit. We don't quite, because bubble is super weak. And we do get the speed drop. Ember will do actually a little bit of damage. Because I forgot I'm not part water anymore. Yeah, I'm already forgetting that crap. So, that sucks. So yeah, fire is super effective. Um, so, next up is Machop here. Uh, I think we should be fine. We resist all of Machop's moves, I think. So, let's hit with a quick attack. Wow. <laughs> that didn't do very much, so. Uh, our defense got dropped. Let's use Bubble here. Yikes. Um, at least we're... At least we can tank these hits that Machop throws at us. So, we're sitting okay, I guess. Focus energy, that's fine. A couple more bubbles should knock out the Machop here. I just really hope we get a better move besides Bubble. This is a struggle right here. And look at that, four hit points of damage right there. Karate Chop did absolutely nothing. So, yeah, looks like we're getting a little bit of bulk with Masquerade here, which is nice. Very much needed. You can actually take hits on, like, Surskit. So Masquerade picks up the victory in the first battle. Um, fully evolved, so that's nice. Um, so we got a little bit done this episode. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys for part 15 next time. Goodbye, everybody.